Hey all, I am Professor Savita Bodke, author of your International Finance Textbook. In the today's lecture, we are going to learn regarding the arbitrage profit. But what is the difference between our earlier sum and this sum? In this sum, we are going to understand that how to calculate the arbitrage profit when they have given you one direct rate and another indirect rate. So let's understand this in detail. What they have given you in a question? They have given you that you are having a current pair SCK AUD. Now what is this SCK? This SCK is Swedish Krona. The name of this currency is a Swedish Krona. This is a currency of Sweden and AUD already everyone is aware regarding that AUD is Australian dollar. So they have given you that we are having a currency pair that is Swedish Krona and Australian dollar. The bit rate of this is 1.3733 and the ask rate is 1.3735. Then they have given you AUD SCK rate. Now this is an indirect rate. The first rate they have specified that is the direct rate. And second one they have given you that AUD SCK. The bit rate they have specified that is 0 0.7215 and 0 0.7225. This is an indirect rate. Now what the instructions they have given you? They have given you that identify and calculate the arbitrage profit. Already we are aware that how to calculate the arbitrage profit. The arbitrage profit is difference between your buying price and selling price the thumb rule is that we have to buy at the lowest point and we have to sell the currency at the highest rate that is so simple but over here they have given you one direct rate and another indirect rate so what we will do we will convert this indirect rate as a direct rate and then we are going to start with the procedure of your calculation of arbitrage profit again please remember one thing guys i have written over here as an explanation this is just for your understanding purpose in examination you are not going to write down this because i am teaching you on an online platform and i am not having whiteboard over here i am just teaching you with the help of the page and pen so that's why i have written everything thing in detail and clearly in an examination what you have to do you have to directly start with a solution so i hope that this is clear to you guys now we are going to start with the actual solution now if you want to convert your indirect rate in a direct rate we have already studied regarding the inverse rate what is the inverse rate in case of the inverse rate we learn about the two things that is calculation of bid rate and calculation of ask rate how we are going to calculate the bid that is one divided by ask and how we are going to calculate the ask that is one divided by bid so simply what i have done i have written over here a direct rate that is SCK AUD. Now we are having an indirect rate and we want the direct rate. So that's why I have used a formula of inverse rate for the bid. The formula is 1 divided by ask and for the calculation of ask we are having the formula is of 1 divided by bid. So I have specified it as it is. Now over here what we are going to do we are just going to place the amount at the respective places. Now we are in a question we are having a bid rate that is 0 0.7215 and the ask rate is 0 0.7225 so as it is we are going to place this at the respective places so we have written over here as 1 divided by 0 0.7225 that was our ask rate and the bid rate was 1 divided by 7215 so after calculating that we got the SCK AUD bid rate that is 1.3841 and the ask rate is 1.3860. So we have done our first step that is conversion of direct rate uh, indirect rate in a direct rate. So we have calculated a direct rate over here. So now the next step is that we have to clearly specify it in the solution so we have written now we are having a ck aud that is 1.3733 slash 1.3735 this is the given rate so that's why we have written clearly over here as a given now we have just derived one rate
we have calculated one rate over here that is ack aud that is 1.3841 and 1.3860 this we have calculated so we have to write down over there as a derived it is mandatory that you have to clearly specify that which is the given rate and which is the derived rate now the next step is that we have to identify that from where we are going to purchase the currency and where we have to sell the currency because the arbitrage is nothing but the buying the currency at the lower rate in the one market and selling it in the another market at the higher rate now i am having the two buying rates over here that is 1.3735 and 1.3860 if i'll compare both of this now this 1.3735 that is the lowest rate so at the lower rate i am going to purchase this currency so we have already identified that from where we are going to purchase the currency now as compared to this i have to find out the higher rate so the higher rate is 1.3841 so i am going to purchase the currency at 1.3735 and i am going to sell it at the higher rate is of 1.3841 so we have clearly mentioned it over here as build of 1.3841 is greater than ask of 1.3735 means we are going to purchase at the lowest rate and we are going to sell at the highest rate so therefore the arbitrage exists now we have to assume the capital always in a 1 million so we have written it clearly that assume a capital of australian dollar 1 million now we are aware regarding the formula so we have specify the formula over here that is arbitrage profit is principal into identified bid divided by identified ask minus principal already we are aware that we are having a principal of 1 million so we have placed this over here that is 1 million into identified bid is 1.3841 so we have return it as 1.3841 divided by identified ask is 1.3735 minus the principal amount now the next step is most important guys so please pay attention over here now whenever in any of the illustration if you are having given and derived rate so what you have to do whatever the derived rate you have considered in a calculation of arbitrage profit you have to write down the steps that how you have calculated that means simply what we are going to do please pay attention over here that this bid rate that is 1.3841 that is derived by us but this ask rate is given by them so what we are going to do in the further calculation we are going to write down the steps that how we have calculated this 1.3841 so what we have done over here we are having 1.3841 so how we have calculated that 1.3841 we have calculated that 1.3841 the original calculation is 1 divided by 0.7225 so that we are going to place it over here as it is and we have return it over here as 1 million into the original calculation that is 1 divided by 0.7225 and this 1.3735 that will be as it is because that is the given thing but this was our derived rate minus your principal now the next step is we have to do a calculation so the calculation is 1 million divided by 1.3735 into 0.7225 this is the simple mathematics that's why both are over here minus 1 million now the next calculation is the next step please remember that in examination you have to write down each and every step clearly for getting out of out marks so 1 million divided by now what i have done i have multiply 
both of this so we got the answer that 1 million divided by 0.992353735 minus 1 million so after the calculation we got it as 10 lakh 7705.17 from this we have to deduct a principal amount of 1 million so your final answer is the arbitrage profit is 7705.17 and you have to write down it very clearly as Australian dollar 7705.17 per Australian dollar 1 million the interpretation already I have explained in the previous session that if we are investing 1 million Australian dollar in this arbitrage, we can get a profit of 7705.17. I hope that this concept is clear to you guys. My next lecture will be based on calculation of arbitrage profit when they have given you the mid rate. So please share this lecture to all your friends and all the best for your studies. Thank you so much.